So it is, I guess, day two of my wisdom teeth recovery. I mean, it was yesterday, but it's yesterday morning, so I guess like yesterday is my first recovery day. I woke up and was really swollen and in a lot of pain. You can kind of see the swelling. Um, and um, I've been coughing a lot, but I think it's just like the cough is still there from when I had my really bad cold. And then I was also just like really dehydrated when I woke up. So, there's that. Um, but I edited the vlog and got it up. So, if you haven't had a chance to go and laugh at me and the craziness of me post-surgery, then go check that out if you are interested in that. It hurts when I smile because it's all swollen and it hurts. Um, right now, I'm eating some baked potato soup. Matthew went to Safeway and got different soups. He got this one, got a um, broccoli cheddar, and then just some easy like instant soups I could heat up. <laughs> what? That's her. She's like sucking on her hand. Yeah. No. Um, and Matthew has been a great dad and has been taking care of McKinnon. He took her with him to Safeway when he went and got some food. Pretty sure the lady in the uh, checkout lane thought I was like a single dad. Really? Because she's like, I don't have a rewards thing, but do you have a rewards number? I'll, you can have my points. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, I guess people do that. But. Yeah, she seems like she's just being really nice. She was lady who touched her feet. Okay, so here, let me um, ask y'all about this. Um, I've been trying to figure out if we should get a flu shot because, like, the flu is really bad this year. But I've heard different things, like, yes, you should get it because it's protection and McKinnon can't get it until six months. <laughs> so it would be, like, extra protection for her. But then I've heard it doesn't protect from the flu this year because it's like a different strain, like it's a mutated strain of the flu. So they won't have a flu shot for this one until next year. So I don't understand. Like, should we get one or not? I don't know. It honestly has not been bad in our area. Like it hasn't, like I don't even know anyone who's got the flu. Do you, as anyone at church? Not that I know, like, officially, but a lot of people keep getting sick, but then most of them are better. Hmm. Well, it's been really bad in some areas, like in Texas, schools have shut down, and Tennessee, schools have shut down, but, like, it really hasn't been bad around here. But then you just hear, like, a lot of, you know, horror stories about the flu, so I don't really know, like, should we do flu shots? Should we not? I don't know. So yeah, I think we might do them. Wow. What? Okay. This is Tennessee. Oh my gosh, is that North where? Central Tennessee. Oh, okay. There's like a bunch of snow. Um, well, more than the snow, there are a ton of trucks off the road, like semi after semi after yeah. semi. Yeah. Um, We've never got flu shots before. I never got a flu shot growing up, so I just always assumed they weren't really necessary because um, I never got one growing up. But now, like I've heard people saying like the reason the flu is really bad is because more and more people aren't getting flu shots. So I don't know, like are we supposed to get it or not? Like if I feel like it was important, they would like push it with regular vaccines. I don't know. I don't know, someone tell me what to do. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom because um, McKinnon's asleep in the living room with Matthew and if you know like the layout of our house, like the the entrance to the, our door to the bedroom is like right out of the living room. So anyway, I don't wanna wake her up. Um, 
but I just did my like medicated mouthwash that I have to do and I'm supposed to do it morning and night but I didn't do it this morning because I woke up like at noon um I'm supposed to do the medicated mouthwash morning and night like after breakfast and then before I go to sleep and then I'm supposed to do a salt water rinse three times a day so I did my salt water rinse it was super gross um I've rinsed with salt water before like gargled with salt water um but I did the salt water rinse it's really gross it always is um and I did the medicated rinse tonight and it actually like was really nice like it just is like mouthwash like the really yeah it's just like a mouthwash and it feels really good and it doesn't for some reason I had it in my head that it would taste like cough syrup which why would it taste like cough syrup that makes no sense but <laughs> anyway um yeah so I had that and I can't eat or drink for like 30 minutes after using the medicated mouthwash so um, I'm just getting ready for bed now. I'm about to wash my face, put on my moisturizers and night cream and um, all of that. I can't brush my teeth until like 30 minutes, well, like 20 minutes, because like I said, I can't like eat or drink anything. And I'm pretty sure that water and toothpaste being in my mouth would count as that. <laughs> um, so I gotta wait to do that. And then I set an alarm for 10:30 because yes, I'm going to bed really early. It's like seven o'clock um but I set an alarm for 10 30 to take um another pain medicine and also take my seizure medicine because it's too early to take that um and I think we're gonna do ice um on my cheeks one more time tonight because I haven't used ice at all today and I've been pretty okay I've had soreness though so I've still been using the pain medication I'm hoping to not use the pain medication for very long like I'm hoping tomorrow not to be have to use it anymore um really it's only the bottom that hurts like the top hasn't been hurting at all like a little bit today it started hurting on this side but really it's just been like the bottom that hurts the most and again I think that's because of my TMJ my jaw soreness giant baby face you're so cute how did you get drool on your cheek up so high Tech billionaires don't suck on their thumbs. There you go, Steve Baby Jobs. Baby Steve Jobs. <laughs> You're a very studious baby. Very cute, studious baby. You have so much stuff around you. Does my skin look much better? I always feel like, um, I always feel so refreshed and everything after I wash my face and put on all my creams and moisturizers and serums and all of that. Also, I've been saying today, oh, I don't, I really don't think I'm that swollen. Like, you know, I, this is, I think I just look normal. But then I was washing my face and I looked up and I was like, this is not normal. This is not how my face usually looks. Because <laughs> this is all really swollen. <laughs> and like I realized it when I was like this. And I looked up and I was like. Um, my face doesn't usually look like that. When I look up from washing my face. So yeah. It's definitely a lot more swollen. I think we're going to do ice a little bit more. But my goal is to not take like the strong pain medicine tomorrow to only take the ibuprofen just because I don't like being on really strong pain medicine like that for long periods of time. I did the same thing after my uh, c-section. I tried to stop the pain medicine as soon as possible um, which I'm not having a whole lot of pain right now. It's just soreness and it was the same after my c-section. I wasn't having extreme pain. I was just having soreness so I got lucky with that because I've heard a lot of people like being in really bad pain 
for a long time after c-sections and after this wisdom tooth stuff it is so much more swollen than i thought it was that's so weird <laughs> anyway i'm going to bed it's only like 7 30 but i'm super tired i've got to wake up um in a few hours and take my pain medicine and my seizure medicines because it's too early to take that i think i mentioned that i don't know anyway thanks for watching if you're new don't forget to subscribe if you like this video give it a thumbs up or share or comment whatever you'd like to do i'll talk to y'all down in the comments my nose itches and we will see y'all tomorrow bye